Hey folks, uh, welcome back to the Backwoods Gourmet. Um, we're going to continue the series with Dutch oven cooking. So it's a nice cool day out today. Uh, not raining for once, so we can actually cook on an uh, open fire. So we're going to just do a simple recipe for you uh, for Dutch oven cornbread. Cornbread is about the simplest thing you can make uh, with a very few ingredients. Uh, we Here we got two cups of um, uh, cornmeal. Doesn't matter, white, yellow, whatever you got. We got two beaten eggs. We got one and a third, uh, I'm sorry, one quarter of a cup of uh, oil. Works even better with melted lard. Um, got about a half cup of sugar there, uh, optional. And a uh, cup and a half of milk. So we're just going to take, um, we do have a little bit of salt in this cornmeal, and if you don't have self-rising cornmeal, um, you need a couple of, of uh, teaspoons of baking powder in there to make it rise up. Uh, self-rising, don't really need it. Okay, nothing fancy here. I'm going to take our sugar first, we're going to put that in there as our dry ingredients. Just going to pop that around a little bit to get it incorporated into the cornmeal. Next, we're just going to add all of our red ingredients. Here's our eggs. Those came right from our chickens today. Oil. And the milk. Now, you can pre combine these ingredients if you want, it doesn't matter. Cornmeal is pretty forgiving, or uh, cornbread is pretty forgiving. We're just going to start around with fork. It should be uh, pretty thin when you're done here. And, uh, I'm going to show you how well the Dutch oven is going to cook this up. Um, or even an iron skillet. If you do this in the oven, the uh, trick is to get that pot hot before we put this in. We're doing this before we even got the pot ready. You can see the pot sitting over there. Um, <coughs> I like this to sit for a little while. Helps just uh, for that cornmeal to soak up the other um, liquids. So that's pretty much it. No, uh, no need to get too fancy with that. Just gonna let it sit right, for a little while. Starting out with some charcoal today. Uh, just trying to save wood right now. You can do this certainly on a, a campfire. Um, once you get used to how many charcoal briquettes it takes to maintain your pot, uh, it's pretty easy to transition that over to uh, to coals uh, just by volume. So right now we're just gonna get we're preheating the pot. So we've got about. Uh, we got about 15 coals on the bottom. Um, we're wanting to go to 400 on this thing. Okay, so we've uh, we've upped the uh, number of charcoals on the bottom. Don't want to go crazy with the ones on the bottom, but we're preheating the pot now. Those are going to burn down pretty quick. So we're going to go ahead and get our Dutch oven on there and take the lid off of it. And uh, if you can see or not, we've got about two or three tablespoons of um, oil in the bottom of the pot. Uh, lard is great. Um, today we're using canola oil, lard's even better. But you want to get that to where it's almost to the point of smoking. So this is a uh, preheating. Right, we're going to give it the sizzle test. I see a little bit of smoke coming up. We're just going to give it a drip, see if it sizzles. It does. Um, just going to make sure that oil is evenly distributed in the bottom of the pan. Go ahead and pour a batter in there. looking for is it's going to kind of the oil is going to kind of fry that cornbread around the edges uh, make it nice and crispy and the other thing it's going to do is uh, ensure that it releases from the Dutch oven when we're done all we're going to do now is in so I put the lid on and we're going to go ahead and give uh, most of our heat to the top Again, you could do this with the uh, regular coals. We're just trying to save firewood right now. Um, we want quite a bit of heat on the top. We're, again, trying to get uh, at least 400 in this pot. Been about 20 minutes. We're just going to go ahead and give it a little, give it a little peek. What I generally do is, uh, you know, try to put some of the charcoal around the top, uh, back toward the middle. Tap the pot a couple times with your stirrer. Knock off any. Uh, excess ash so you don't drop it and then uh, lift your try to lift your lid up really carefully so you're not getting uh, your ash down in there so we're gonna just take a little skewer we're gonna poke it down in there test it 
looks pretty good. It's pulled away from the sides. You see the top is nice and brown. Um, might let it go just a few more minutes. This is golden brown, you know, get the, the edges a little more brown. But when you see it start to pull away from the pan like that, getting about perfect. I watched uh, a lot of YouTube videos on on uh, you, uh, Dutch oven cooking. Nobody ever really tells you this part or shows you how to do it. But now our cornbread's done. And this needs to be done very carefully. If you don't have one of these hooks right here, or some kind of a pot lifter, uh, or a lid lifter, this is not gonna be easy. This one makes it pretty good, or easy. This is the lodge one. Um, just gonna lift that lid up straight off. Okay, we're gonna set it aside. You see our cornbread is perfectly golden brown. It's ready to go. So we're just gonna take that off. Now, you wanna keep this warm. So, we're gonna take the lid back out. And this is the tricky part, is getting those coals off. With this lid lifter, it makes it pretty easy. Especially if you got a little something to tap it against. That lid off of there. Um, just kind of tap those um, extra coals you got on there off. Dump them back in the fire. Now you can put this back on your pot. And that's going to keep your, uh, whatever you're cooking warm for a little while. Alright, well it's time to take this, uh, this guy out of the pot. It's uh, pulled away from the edges uh, from the oil that we put in earlier. So you should be able to just take your great big uh, spatula here, just go right under it, just pull it right out. Well, that, uh, that's the way it should come out of there. You never have any sticking problems. If you keep your Dutch oven seasoned, uh, it'll come out like this every Thanks time. Thanks for watching today. Hope you uh, learned something on a very little simple recipe. You can do it uh, just about anywhere uh, using a Dutch oven. Uh, great tool. Should be an uh, everybody's survival skill uh, set to learn how to use this uh, this old iron pot.